With the rise of ad blockers and subscription services, it's getting harder to reach consumers across media types. In iOS 9, Apple added support for content blocking extensions. After its release in the fall, ad blockers had a short run at the top of the paid app charts as the media nervously swooned. Months later, it seems as if mobile ad blockers will remain the same 10 to 15% of the market as their desktop brethren. But ad blocking is just one symptom of consumers' increasing desire and ability to avoid seeing ads. In video, ad-free subscription services are becoming the norm. Netflix, with over 75 million subscribers, announced its entry into 130 new countries at CES this year, effectively making it a global TV network that, of course, serves zero ads. Both Hulu and YouTube, already showing fewer ads than traditional television, also announced ad-free subscription tiers last fall. Even cable TV is changing. True TV announced it would drop up to nine minutes of ads per hour this fall in a bid to win back consumers accustomed to streaming services, ad-free or ad light products. But maybe the situation is not as bad as it seems. About 85% of time spent on mobile is in apps where ad blockers don't work, and we're seeing a resurgence in solutions for premium digital ads. Facebook's Instant Articles and Google's AMP project are trying to help brands by taking away the worst behaving ads and practices while still helping web publishers monetize. Faced with the increasing challenge to reach consumers, brands should explore new ways to sponsor events and content that aligns well. In cars, terrestrial radio listening is shifting to Bluetooth-connected phones and ad-free satellite radio, but podcast listening is growing rapidly, complete with one of the most native ad formats in the industry. The rapid rise of eSports, which will be as large as the NFL by 2017, also presents a great new channel to reach a growing audience through partnerships and sponsorships. And sophisticated new tools for video ads can help brands reach their audience on any platform. Samba TV can target ad-free video viewers using advanced content recognition to detect what they're watching and push ads to their second screen, or retarget them later when they might be shopping. Technology from Myriad can turn evergreen content into customizable new inventory, replacing a Pontiac with a VW, a Subway with a Carl's Jr. storefront, or a can of Pepsi with a Coke, well after post-production is wrapped. Consumer preference for ad avoidance should serve as a wake-up call reminding brands to prioritize user experience and prompting a shift towards more effective targeting and less intrusive ads. To earn consumer attention, brands will need to start adding real value to their ads and utilize the right tools to deliver them to the right audience.